Nature knows what nature's doing. You hear these riffles here with the water. That's not just pretty white water. That is actually the river's way of oxygenating for the fish and for the invertebrates that live at the river's bottom. I started out at New Jersey State Police 1970. I had 25 years with them. I patrolled all these areas out in northwestern New Jersey. And with my open space job, Alamucci had purchased a lot of open space lands to protect watersheds, to make a green belt connection from Alamucci Mountain State Park to Jenny Jump. And the mayor at the time, Bob Resker, said, we're very interested in you creating outreach programs and getting people to appreciate open space. I take the old trusty camera that has a nice optical zoom in it and document what I see and then go back and uh, write it up for Flickr or for my Facebook page. And I also have uh, a article of photo of the week with InsideWarren.com uh, where I share that with everybody. This is the Paulin School that we're at now. I've done this kayak from north of Newton all the way down to the Delaware Muskinecon watershed. I mean, going from Lake Apacon down to the river with, because of the number of access points that we have, the number of different activities that can be done. So each of these sites basically gives the individual a chance to leave their daily routine and go to someplace special. If you see something that catches your curiosity, do yourself a big favor, follow your heart. to try to get other people to see the fun I'm having and the multiple ways of having fun because these rivers really, they're here for everyone. Water is what we survive on, what everything survives on. And if we don't have clean water, that ripple effect starts going into the surrounding watershed and into the area and has a great effect on our life. I mean, we're standing by a beautiful river here uh, and enjoying it. Can you imagine if this was all polluted and the Delaware River was a great example of that. 15 years ago, that was almost a dead river. And through cleanup efforts, it gives 5% of the people of this country drinking water. If this river changed for the worse, it would affect everyone's lives. And, that, and I say everyone, I'm including nature, uh, the animals, the wildlife, the plants. We must maintain our diligence. If we do that, I think we'll be okay. If that gets knocked down a peg or funding gets, or recognition gets knocked down a peg, I think we've got some problems. There's a lot of different ways of enjoying your open space. These are ours, you know, feel free to go out and use them. Have a good time and learn something and take your family and friends with you.